Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review. Um, today we got for you, of course, as you see right here, LEGO Mini Cliff Jumper. Let's check them out. So, we finally got Cliff Jumper done. You've probably seen him, uh, you know, a little sneak peeks of him here and there throughout the videos recently. Um, yeah, but he's pretty much just a repaint of Black Wasp and Bumblebee. So, um, we got his weapon here on the side, weapon storage, pretty awesome. Let's see if we could take that off. Nice little gun that I designed, I don't know if you can see that well. But there it is, cool. And of course we have his little hologram driver guy. that back up really see there he is oh look at that that's way better so as you can see um he matches uh cliff jumpers colors pretty well this is all pieces from who knows what set when if you do happen to know uh make some comments below so i could like try to categorize these guys but um oh, he fell took a nap all right so just to do some size comparisons, I have Combined Wars Sunstreaker. Yes. Let's see if we could uh, kind of get everything in frame there just a little bit. There you go. So from tail to tail, um, let's see from there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sunstreaker is a bit longer, probably about an inch longer than Cliff Jumper, but. Uh, he makes Cliff Jump look like a pickup truck. You know, it's just so high. I think they make these pretty low. Like that. I think they should, you know, bulk these up a little bit. You know, they're pretty cool though. Um, with wise, they're um, they're pretty much the same width a little bit. Maybe Sunstreak is just a wee bit wider, but that's that. And um, we got a special guest. We got a. The Coral Q Cliff Jumper making an appearance also. Little penny racer things that I've been uh, putting up on my channels and on YouTube and everything. Well, not channel, YouTube and mock pages also. Um, so just wanted to show you guys a comparison of that side by side. Um, got pretty much the same color headlights, same grill, same license plate. Almost the same design. Same wheels. We got weapon storage on the sides as well. I just had to redesign this because the clutch power on the back half of the vehicle was a little uh, loose. So now I got to redesign like 40 Q transformers that I did already. <laughs> but luckily, you only seen the Seeker. So I got another video coming up with Optimus and uh, Bumblebee and all those other guys real soon. So just giving you guys a quick peek at that before we get into transformation. And being that you've seen the transformation several times before, oh, twice already on my channel. Oh, just to show you the features, it does roll way better. Some improvements that I made from um, Bumblebee. Um, the doors pretty much still open up the same way. Like so. And of course, with where the driver sits and everything. So we're just gonna skip the transformation and get them from looking like this to looking like this. So, I'm gonna get them back center stage there. And as you can see, um, it's pretty much the same as Bumblebee. This little 360. He has a darker glass, which to me looks a lot cooler than the blue one that I have on Bumblebee, but you know, the blue glass is more appropriate for him anyway. For size comparison, we're gonna Bring in uh, Sunstreaker again. And as you can see, let me just raise this up just a little bit. Sunstreaker is, once again, about an inch taller than a cliff jumper. So, I think it looks pretty good. So, now we're going to bring back in Q Transformer Cliff Jumper, and he is still in vehicle mode. Look how tiny he is. Look at him. Driver, let's, let's look at that. 
This thing actually transforms. It rolls, it looks just like Cliff Jumper, and it's the same size as a minifig, basically. So for this, I will show you the transformation sequence since I just spent like an hour redesigning it. First thing we're gonna do is clip off these, uh, take off his weapons, so that those don't get in the way of anything. Yeah, I'll bring this back down just a little bit. There you go. Then you grab him right here at the end of the windshield, and he's only holding on to two studs right there. Pretty much flip this up like so. Down here, you go spread open the where the arms are gonna come out of, and um. See how are these gonna fold out more so this way with the little hand out and while we're up here we'll take the wheel around on stud friction do the same for this and get the arm towards like where the wheel is facing and then rotate the wheel around stud friction so then once we get that out we can fold these out all the way 90 degrees take his backpack I like to fold that out to the back like that Put the head up like that and then fold the backpack back in and here we could Hold these little arms back up in a good position. Go under here. Pull those little feet out. You guys can see that. Like so. And then we want to spin his feet around. Maybe just 45 degrees ish, just to you know, give him a wide stance. So he's not standing on. Right and stuff. And then just balance them out. These guys are pretty back heavy, so you have to point them down a little bit. And then you can put his weapons back on. Like so. Just got these little guns so that we could uh, give them something to hold because these guys are pretty small. Can't go building giant guns for these guys. And we're gonna put on mini cliff jumpers guns as well. A gun, I should say. And there you have them. You got Q Transformer Cliff Jumper and my mini scout cliff jumper. I got a lot more pieces, so you're gonna probably see these guys in a few more colors before I retire their uh their build so um yeah this is bx bricks i want to thank you guys for watching as always uh thank you for subscribing um share like comment let me know what you think let me know what you want to see in my next video um it's almost the end of the year so i'm trying to get uh maybe a few more videos done along with the end of the year video to show you everything that i've been doing for the last year and try to give you a sneak peek into what we got going on for 2016. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.